What's hatching, Turkey Beeps? We are back, and, uh... Why do I always cough when I start these friggin' things? Damn it. So, um... While we were gone... While you were gone, I ran and got P Faithful. I gave him Surf. And... I don't know why, but I didn't. Uh... He let my Pokemon. Apparently, because I'm that much boss. So, ah, we meet Giovanni. And they're discussing something important. Keep your nose out of adult matters. Alright. And, uh, while we're battling this guy, we're gonna be eating some uh, brown sugar cinnamon frosted Pop Tarts. That's right, we got the ones with the frost. Not the sauce, not the boss, the frost. So, we got P Faithful. And I'm not sure if we want to risk taking a double kick. Oh, he's going to poison thing, so we should be able to take that. Oh, take that beautifully. Hit it with a surf. It's not super effective because they're not ground type yet. So, <coughs> now that we know he's going for the poison sting, we're going to go out in a swag. And even if he double kicks, we can take it. Fury attack, misses, not worried at all. I'm going to set up the Leech Seed, just because uh, recovery is always good. And I really don't think he can do anything to me. So, we're going to start getting health back. And we're going to hit him with a regular Leaf. Critical hit, not that it mattered, because like I said, he isn't even going to touch me anyways. So he's dealing uh, 4 damage with each of those hits. And we recovered all the leech seed. So once again, it doesn't matter. Get hit him with a cut, just because it's a guaranteed hit. Swag, get some, getting some experience. I'm gonna go into the Queen. Which will be weak to the surf. But I don't think it's gonna matter with the, uh, that many level of difference. So I think we're going to uh, GTFO. I will just go back into swag. I mean she might have ice beam, but it being unstabbed, I think we'll be able to take one. I'm gonna go for Poison Sting, not gonna do much. Just like last time, I'm gonna hit it with the Leech Seed. Get back our, uh, lovely recovery. Gonna Body Slam me, uh, critical hit. Which sucks, but, I mean, still not hurting too terribly bad. So, we are going to, uh, just hit it with Razor Leaf. Because it's neutral, now that it's part ground. That didn't do crap. Nido Queen is a bit more specially bulky. Wasn't even thinking about that. But the uh, Leech Seed is just destroying the damage that she's doing to us. So I'm gonna body slam us again. I'm not gonna do that much damage. I'm gonna get the pair of hacks, but I'm not really worried about it. And this is a delicious frosted pop tart. We're gonna go for cut, just to see how much that'll do. Double kick, not gonna do anything because it's resisted. And we're gonna go for the cut. And, uh, Leech Seed should probably finish it off, I think. Yep. Nido Queen goes down. P Faithful and Swag, getting plenty of uh, health. Kanga's Khan's gonna come out, we will switch. Gonna go into P Faithful. Our lovely Lapras. Level 35. Hmm. Nah, we'll just switch out. I think is probably too bulky for us to start laying hits on. So I switch out into Miley, our primate. And Kangaskhan's gonna tail up us, which won't matter because we're gonna take it out with a fighting move right now. 
Go, 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 cross drop. Oh, we missed. But, again, in the end, doesn't matter because she just sets up another tail whip. Go for another cross drop and miss. And this is gonna hurt. Stab boosted Mega Punch. And down goes Miley. That makes me sad. So, let's go into Swag. Set up the Leech Seed. Kangaskhan's gonna Rage, which isn't gonna do anything. We're gonna set up the Leech Seed. We'll let it continue to Rage. And we'll just set up uh, a Sleep Powder after this. Sounds like a good plan to me. Going for the Sleep Powder, goes for a Mega Punch and misses. Gonna hit the Sleep Powder, which is excellent. And some more Frost Pop Tart. Getting delicious uh, leftover recovery. Or Leech Seed recovery. Gonna hit with the Razor Leaf, see how much it does. Probably not a lot because Kangaskhan has a uh, fairly immense bulk. And that did a lot more than I thought it was going to. And again, we do have the four level advantage here. Kangaskhan is going to wake up after being <coughs> asleep only one turn. Which is kind of lame. And we get the Parahax, but you know, it's not like we're worried about it. Because Kangaskhan really can't touch... Uh, Venusaur. And we are going to get off Razor Leaf here, and that should be enough to take it down. So Kangaskhan goes down. Be faithful. Swag. Split in the experience. Giovanni's going to send in Rhyhorn, and we will switch. And we're going to go into P. And depending on the level of this Rhyhorn, we may just go for... And we're going to try out a Surf. And we are faster, holy shit. Wow. Super, wow. Get down with your jiggy self, P-Faithful, for that. So P-Faithful, getting its first level and first kill. Lapras is a boss. Boss with the frost. The frost boss. Yeah, that's probably getting really annoying. I don't care. Blast it all! Blast it, I say. You ruined our plans for self. But Team Rocket will never fail. Tup. Never forget the Pokemon exists for Team Rocket. I must go, but I shall return. And, uh, they run away. Oh, dear boy, thank you for saving self. I will never forget you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way. Because I am rich, I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. Tup obtained the Master Ball. And for those of you who aren't aware, the Master Ball... As even though it is probably the gayest looking Pokeball of them all, except for maybe the the heart ball or whatever the hell it's called that comes out of that acorn. Uh, we can't buy it anywhere. It's our secret prototype master ball. It will catch any Pokemon without fail. So we have to be quiet about using it though. And that's uh, exactly what it does. Um It'll catch any Pokemon. Whether it's asleep, whether it's at full health, guaranteed catch. Which is nice, especially if you uh, really want one of the birds on your team. Or if you really want Mewtwo, or you know, whatever. Whatever ends up being the most important for you at that point. So we, uh, we defeat the self. Everything in the self building. So Team Rocket has fallen disgraceful Crying whiny bitches. And we're gonna heal up our Pokemon because uh, some of our Pokes need some health. Swag is paralyzed, and poor Miley was knocked out <coughs> after missing two cross chops, which is bullshit. But whatever. So, uh. Oh, we need to go in some of these houses we couldn't go before. So we couldn't go in this house before, so let's see what we can do in here. Probably nothing. Thank you for writing. I hope to see you soon. Hey, don't look at my letter. What? C come back here. Oh, it's a Pidgey. The copycat is cute. I'm getting her a poke doll. Who is the copycat? 
Oh, I know there's one girl in here who mocks everything you say, and if you give her a poke at all, she like sucks your wee wee or something like that. I don't remember. It was never important enough for me to do because it was nothing that I needed in game. Yeah, hey, there's Chansey. It's fat. Oh, she's copycat. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, I like Pokemon. Oh, I forgot, this is one of the few points in the game where you actually talk. Hi, do you like Pokemon? I know, I just ask you. Huh? You're strange. Hmm? What, Mimicking? That's my favorite hobby. Yeah, you're gay. It's a Pikachu! Pretty mirror, look at me. How pretty can I be? She taught her Doduo to talk? That's boss. I wish I could teach my Doduo to talk. Why well, I'm Dodri, I know. But, um... I think it's actually a different game. You have to give girls polka dolls to get shit. So now we can get into the Team Rocket building, which is awesome! And who's this guy? Oh. Yeah, we already kicked their ass, buddy. Yeah, we've been in here already. I was thinking there was another building we hadn't been in yet. No, we were in there. We were in Mr. Douche's house. Must have just been the gym we couldn't go to. And, ah, oh, damn it, more warp tiles. So, uh, might as well start this gym. We're only a couple minutes. Whoa! What's going on? I have no idea what just happened, but I was jacked in that corner. It did not like me at all. Serena is young, but she's also a highly skilled leader. You won't reach her easily. Awesome. If I have as much trouble reaching her as I did finding Douche McNugget, my rival, I'm screwed. So, Psychic Cameron, let's slip poke. That's not good for P. Uh, yeah, not good for P. We'll switch Pokemons. And we will uh, bust out the Spike Attack. So go, go, go. Gonna hit us with Confusion, super effective, and that obviously did a whole bunch of damage, so we're scared. We are now confused. Which really sucks, because we can hurt ourselves in confusion this turn, which is bullshit. Gonna disable us, but since we didn't attack, it doesn't matter. We're still confused, but we get off the Razor Leaf. And that should easily one-shot a Slowpoke. So Slowpoke goes down, P Faithful, Swag, Split the Experience. Gonna send in Slowpoke. And we are just gonna bounce in and out here. Because it sounds like fun. And be faithful needs the experience. Can you go into Jax? So I really want Jax to get to a little bit higher of a level. Because I'm kind of hoping Jax is going to be my ace in the hole with Cosmic Power and Soft Oil to beat Sabrina. Because honestly, I don't know what else on my team is going to be able to sponge a special attack she's going to hit me with. So Slowpoke's gonna disable us, and that really sucks because the only other gun we have, uh, the only other attack we have is Water Pulse. So, thankfully we get a crit there and take down Slowpoke. Uh, P Faithful gets some experience, Jax gets some experience. Uh, gonna send in Slowbro. So, yes, we're gonna switch our Pokemon so we won't be disabled anymore. And, going into P Faithful. And I come slow, bro. And <laughs> I love this fight for slow, blood, bro. This generation it looks so much more retarded than the other generations. It's just hysterical. Getting one of Majora because I always forget Majora has a uh, electric attack on it. Tries to disable us, but it doesn't matter. And if Sabrina uses disable on us with any of her Pokemon, that's really gonna suck, especially if she disables Cosmic Power. So again, freaking Shockwave disappoints the shit out of me. I always forget that it has like 60 base uh, power, which isn't great. Some more Faust from the Pop-Tart. 
Mmm. Yummy experience. Oh, down and out. Indeed you are, sir. Indeed you are. I already forget which one of these pads we came in on. Well, it wasn't that one. So here's another kid. You understand, don't you? The power alone is enough to win the world of Pokemon. Uh, right. Whatever you say. And I will show you as I win with power. Psychic Tyrone! Freaking Tyrone up in here! You're not black, don't be kidding. You can use Mr. Mime, who's also not black. And, oh yeah, we don't want to attack with him. So, ah... Uh, what does Mr. Mime do besides set up screens and shit? I don't know, we'll go into Jax. Probably get with a Confusion or he'll call mine or something. Oh, gonna go for Encore, which is fine with me. Especially if he Encores us in our turn. Gonna go for Magical Leaf. Which I think is a Grass Attack. Not sure why he's gonna be used next. It's not stabbed and it's not super effective, so God only knows. And return isn't quite enough to take it down. So we're gonna go for Water Pulse. Just to finish it off. Mr. Mime goes down hard. What's more lovely frows from the Pop Tart? And we're gonna go into Kadabra and we will switch. We're gonna go into P Faithful. Get some experience. Let's switch Pokemon. I'm going to go to Jax. This will kind of help me gauge how much damage Jax can take. If it hits me. Okay, we're just going to go for the recover. Again. So we're going to go for the return. And then he's just going to destroy the face of this Kadabra. Because Kadabra is not bulky at all. P Faithful, level 27. Awesome. Jax gets some nice experience when we defeat Psychic Tyrone. And he doesn't believe it. You should have been able to uh, foresee your own loss there, uh, Fagaton. So uh, we flew in on the top one. We'll fly out on the bottom one. And here's a channeler, bitch. Pokemon take on the appearance of their trainers. Your Pokemon must be tough then. Because I'm tough? Is that what you saying? So we got crazy channeler Stacy who has uh, wide open eyes and open mouth like she's having a wee wee stuff in her poo poo. And she can send out Haunter who we're not scared of at all. And we might actually stay and see if we can take a hit. Haunter's, oh of course Haunter's gonna use Confuse Ray. And if I'm not mistaken, the Slappers has Shell Armor, so we don't have to worry about getting hit with Crits, which is good, because Crits make me sad. P Faith, we're going to go for Surf, which is awesome. And then about half, which is actually pretty good. We're going to go for Shadow Punch, which isn't that great. We're confused. We hurt ourselves in Confusion, which is bad. And we're going to go for Surf again. He's going to Nightshade us, which is going to take down 30... Eight of our hit points, which means hopefully we lay in the hit here, and we do. Not gonna be able to take it out, which is unfortunate. And I think it would be stupid to stay in and go again. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna reach into our bag and get ourselves some lemonade. Heal up P Faith because I want P Faith to get some experience. It's gonna nightshade us here. We'll be able to take uh one more. Oh, my addition's bad. I don't think we'll be able to take two. I'm gonna Shadow Punch us, which really isn't gonna matter. Because it doesn't take us down to the point where we have to worry about... Um, where we have to worry about... You know what I'm saying. The, uh, Nightshade. Yes, that's what I was saying, Nightshade. Haha. -ha. So, uh... I'm gonna reach into our bag. Give another lemonade to P Faith. Because we want P Faith to love us. Because we love P Faith. And uh, we get some nice experience. Or, er, yeah, some nice experience. Good God. We get some nice recovery there. So, um. 
Now we're in the top, and here's another psychic dude. Uh, Saffron is famous for training psychics! You want to see Sabrina, don't you? I can tell. Uh, why the hell else would I be coming through this gym just to see your gay ass? I don't think so, Preston. Fucking moron. Guessing out slow, bro, which is sad. Because it's super bulky. We're just gonna go to Swag. And somebody's. Oh, good god. This is where the game starts to hate you when it does shit like this. I'm gonna go for Razor Leaf. Hopefully, it'll still do half. Oh my god, not even close. <laughs> so, bro, you hacks and fag. I'm gonna go for the Leech Seed. Thank god it hits. Because if it got disabled too, I would cry. It's gonna have Butter which isn't gonna do shit. I don't know why they're not psychicking us. I'm gonna go for the sleep powder just because we can and we're disabled with razor leaf and cut isn't gonna do shit. Yes, we're no longer disabled, that is great. That oh, wow. Leech seed is so good. And with the razor leaf. Hurt right there would have been nice. Slow bro's still fast asleep. And we're getting recovered all the way back to full, which is awesome. And we're just gonna go for the cut to finish it off. Alright. The Faithful gets experience, Swag gets experience, and we defeat Psychic Preston. Arg, Another freaking pirate! What the hell is wrong with these people? So we're gonna fly away to... I thought we fought this guy already. Does our unseen power scare you? Uh, not if you can't beat me. We're not scared. So Psychic Johan would like to battle. When he can play the keyboard without touching it. He's the new uh, Bach. And oh, I don't know if we'll be able to take a hit from this or not. It won't matter because he recovers like a moron. So we're going to go for Surf. And that does a nice chunk. Camera's going to use Future Sight, which isn't going to matter. Because we're going to take it out with a Surf. And, oh, that's hot. So, Cadaver goes down. P Faithful. Level 28. Awesome. 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 Uh, Johan is going to go to Mr. Mime. We're just going to stay in because I don't think Mr. Mime can hit us that hard. Because I don't know if you know, but Lapras is bulky. I'm going to set up the Reflect, which isn't going to affect uh, Surf, thankfully. Probably gonna start setting up call mines now. Which will make me sad. Nope, goes for magical leaf. And that is gonna be super effective, but still isn't gonna do shit. That's one thing I wish. Ooh, that's not good. Future sight. Ah, uh, we should be able to take another magical leaf. Who's gonna encore us, so it doesn't matter. What was I saying? Oh, I wish ice resisted grass attacks. It would be so nice for all of the water ice Pokemon, there's like 50 of them, to have that extra resistance. But they don't. So, uh, they're gonna send in Slowpoke. We will switch our Pokemon, just for the sake of time and our sanity. I'm gonna go to Jax. Jax should make slow, uh, yeah, slow work. Quick work of the Slowpoke, good god. Gonna return, should take it down. Maybe. Holy shit. And of course it disables us. What the hell? So we'll set up a cosmic power so I can't do shit to us. So Jack's defense is going to go up. Slowpoke's going to have us Again, won't do shit. Ah, uh, Reflect was still up. That's why... So, it might have one-shotted had Reflect not been up. So Slowpoke's gonna go for Confusion here. Isn't gonna do anything because I'm at plus two now. And we're still fucking disabled. 
so, uh... We'll set up the soft world. <laughs> the animation is so pretty in this generation. I'm gonna con go for confusion. I'm not worried about it at all. We're no longer disabled and we're just gonna destroy the face of this thing with our return. So, there goes Slowpoke's, fa Slowpoke's face. Destroyed by a return. I'm gonna go into Kadabra. Oh, I wanted to switch! But, we're just gonna take it down with a return. Since we're at plus two in our defenses, might as well stay in. I guess. And Kadabra's gonna go down. Which is nice. Jack's gonna go to level 39. Which is excellent. And... We should really get some specially based attacks on Jack, since his special attack is so much higher than his base attack. But whatevs, dog. Whatevs. And... We did fight this guy already, so we've already been here. That's the show. And here's... another channeler! You and I, our Pokemon shall battle. Awesome. Awesome. I'm so glad I came here to talk to you, Channeler Tasha. Tasha has a Ghastly. Ghastly. I love Ghastly in the cartoon, he's so funny. Oh, shit. Hopefully we don't kill now. Since he used Destiny Bond. Oh, of course. You son of a bitch. So... Poor P. Faith goes down to the Destiny Bond. We're just gonna put him a drawer and fuck the shit out of this lady for that. Cause that makes me sad face. She can go to Ghastly and I'm gonna be like, Psychic bitch! In the face! I'm sick of your shit. Fuck with P. Faith, it's over now. But anyways. I'm gonna send in Haunter, we're not scared to Haunter either. We're just gonna psychic it too, so fuck you. Channel or Tasha? Why don't you channel yourself a good Pokemon, bitch? Yeah, you lost. Fucking hoe. We we'll finally get to use one of these revives we bought. It's like a pill of ecstasy. Giving it to P. Faithful. Wakes him up. And now we're gonna drop a... Uh, we'll drop our last lemonade on him. Because we like him that much. So P. Faith, health, back to full. Running out of surfs though, I think. So we did already fight this kid. And we already fought this kid. Shit. Who do we have left to fight? And it's this bitch again. Another channeler. Um. Alright, let's try this one. Fuck! We fight this kid yet? We... Come on! Run in circles again. Ooh, I don't think we fought this one. We did it! I think this is the last one. And. We'll probably run and heal our pokes after this. Ghastly. So, P Faith. Uh, we're gonna play it safe, go with the Confuse Ray this time. Oh, and of course they go for Nightshade. Fuck you! But we're gonna hit the Confuse Ray, which will be nice. In case they do go for Destiny Mod this turn. So, Ghastly's Confused. And yes, so he's gonna use his own confuse ray. God, you whore! But anyways, we're confused. And we'll obviously hit ourselves because they didn't. Yep, see? That's how this game works. 69, lol, lol, lol. And of course, Ghastly snaps out of confusion, of course. Ah, <sighs> Gonna hit us with Nightshade. P-Faith gonna get the surf off, thank god. 
but of course, it's not gonna be enough to kill this one. It can one-shot the one that- Oh my god. It'll one-shot the one that fucking Destiny bombs us, but it can't one-shot. Now would be some nice confusion hacks. Oh, there we go. So now we're gonna have to switch our Pokemon, because we can't take another Nightshade. Let's go into Jax, because Nightshade won't affect us, bitch. So go, 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 Jax. Oh, you just got schooled, son. Going for the water pulse. Not playing around. So now it goes uh, that broad. And Chandler's gonna send a Haunter. And, uh. We'll just leave Jax in. Get some more experience. His uh, P is way too low a health to be that great. So we're gonna hit and confuse this haunter, which is nice. And I guess confusion hacks, which is awesome. Okay, answered the phone there real quick, but we're back. We're gonna hit this thing with a water pulse. And Haunter goes down. So good night, Haunter. And we've hit a channel Amanda. Not good enough. No, you definitely are not. So, um... Tell me one of these is gonna take us to Sabrina, please. Nope, not that one. Let's try this one. Nope, not that one. Oh, fuck. Come on. How about this one? <sighs> I really hate these fucking warp tiles. <laughs> well, let's go heal up our Pokemon while we're here. And then I will find Sabrina. And after I find Sabrina, I will start the next video. How's that sound? So you guys aren't watching me be a retard. Even though I'm sure that's why you watch my videos. Because watching Tuck being a retard is awful fun. Jolly good fun for one and all. Uh question of the the day can be, what is your favorite type of Pop-Tart? And don't say Yan Cat, even though it is an awesome video. Yan Cat is not a flavor of Pop-Tart, unfortunately, because I'd be licking that pussy all day long. Giggity. But anyways, I digress. What is your favorite type of frosted, or unfrosted Pop-Tart for that matter? Alright guys, this has been too curious. Answer to mine is brown sugar cinnamon frosted pop tart. Alright guys, this has been too curious. Hope you enjoyed this installment of Tup's LP of Fire Red. Catch you on the flip side. Peace out.